In this video, you are going to learn how to integrate FlutterWave React V3 NPM package in your React application. So basically, you will need your React app. So I have that set up here. So just um, the React app saying welcome. So let's see that on the browser. So you can see there's an app running saying welcome. So what do we need? Let's for the documentation. So first, you need to install FlutterWave React V3 that you're using npm or yarn so i'm basically using yarn so i just copy this command um copy this command go to my terminal and install it paste it there so you see it will get installed and let's wait for it to install yeah installed so what's the next step to do so we have two methods either the using hooks or the using components so we will use the two of them so let's start with this using hook so we basically copy this um or copy what we have in this documentation for using hooks so we'll just copy everything and paste it so in the file i'll call it um create a file called using using hooks js I'll basically paste everything there. So let's go and copy the components on. So for the components, we have this. Let's go and copy it. Um, let's just it. Copy everything that we have there. Um, yeah, I'll go and paste it on my code. So I'll create another file called using component using components and yes and i will paste it so let's start with using components so you can see we are importing react and we are importing flutter wave button from flutter wave react and v3 so we can see that we are required to add our public key so the public key should be in your environment so our ts um, ts ref uh, the amount that we want to send payment option and basically all the customization you want to add to this payment so um i think the only thing we need to change here is just basically the public key so let me import my public key public key should be my environment so I saved it as public and also skin. So I gonna replace it also for using hooks. So go to using hooks, go to your using hooks file, replace that. Um just gonna delete all this and replace it to my process.m. So um as you can see we've not we've not added it to our app.js file. So let me add using hooks. So I have to just file. So I'll just come here and import it. Import using hooks. And using hooks. So using hooks. Just render it here. And that's all. You have your payments ready. So let's see what we have on our browser. So you see, hello test user payment with React hooks. So let's see where that is coming from using hooks. So you go to this using we see this our uh, text here. So you basically don't even need it. So this is the button. So if we have our public key um, um properly set up, so I think it should work. So let's see. So basically, let's say we want to pay. How much do you set here? Want to pay 100 okay let's make it 200 so we want to pay 200 using so we just come and we click on this button and ta so you see the customization that you added my payment title so we can change that so this is the amount you added this is the user email so we can update that so let's update that from our hooks so go to here so we call it my payment title so you can you can name your own any anything you want to call it so i'll call it just so you see in our application, you click on this button, basically it turns to just pay. 
see this logo you can also change it to anything you want so basically i'll just use i'll just leave it as this one but i'll put my company logo if i want to so the description so you just basically add your card you can add your card and uh, Your, add your card, add your this is, this is actually a fake card, so I'm scared. So you see, pay 200 naira there, and see, it's an invalid card, so make your payment. So let's see using components. So, what we'll do, we we'll go to apps, we remove this using hooks that we already imported, and let's say let's delete it. Let's import using components. Mm, so import mm, um, let me call it using con from using components so you see this guy you just render it here also so let's see our app is up so let's see what it looks like so you see hello test user um um pay with photo web okay so let's, let's check the, let's check out the code using components so we have our process of here set up we have the amount that we put so let me put 1000 this time around so payment um customization that's the title so i won't call it my store let me call it um pedro mm -hmm. and so this configuration so we have pay with slot away so we can i can change it to this is the configuration you see on the bottom i can change it to pay now so change it and see what it looks like so you see it's pay now so it's no longer pay with flutter wave um you can also um what again okay you can change the amount so let's try it and see if everything is set up properly so just load it up and it's up and just put in the card details i'll just put a fake one here um put this put your ccv and just to make your payment so that's basically how to use the application it's very straightforward if you want to use hooks just come here use the hook change the configuration to whatever you want just tweak the configuration to how you want to use it if you want to use um, components just copy this put it in your react application just customize it you can change the title you can change the description to whatever you want to want it to be and that's it and you have your payments up and ready